Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Tony from Tony's Professional Touch, based out of San Marino, California. And in today's video, we're gonna be cleaning up these track wheels. Hey Tony, so can you uh, walk us through your steps to yes. clean the, the rim? So what we're gonna do first is um, use our non-acid wheel cleaner to uh, put all the brake dust, try to get all that off, agitate it, get as much of this brake dust off, see what we're left at. Once we're done with that, we're gonna do our iron removal, let it sit for a few minutes and then rinse it off. We got our water here and this sprayer and non-acid wood cleaner and this sprayer. And then after that, we're gonna do, after the iron remover, we're gonna do our clay treatment. So clay the whole wheel, try to get as much contamination off of these, uh, front and back. After we're done with the clay, we're gonna go ahead and polish them. Polish as best as possible with our three inch polisher. And then we might have to use, um, by, go by hand on the front, face of the wheels on the smaller areas. After we polish them, we're gonna do a spray ceramic coating just for a light layer of protection for like the meantime. And then later on, we could decide on doing an actual ceramic coating if we decide to keep these wheels or something. Got it, and uh, have you ever cleaned uh, wheels that are, are, are this dirty? Uh, we've done a couple, but we, this is, we've only done this type of job a couple times. It's not too common, but we do, we've done it a couple times, yeah. Got it. Are you are you nervous going into cleaning these or? Um, not exactly nervous, but I do. I'm I'm like hoping they come out like new again. If not, worst case scenario, they have to get like repowder coated or something. But we're just gonna try try our best to make them look white again and stuff, especially on the inside. So that the spray you just sprayed was a ceramic one or? No, this is a non-acid wheel cleaner. The one that I just sprayed. Straight. Okay. So it's, it's strong, but it's not strong enough to like damage the actual finish of the wheels because there's acid wheel cleaner. That would most likely do a better job of cleaning off this brake dust, but it's it's super strong that it can mess up the finish. Oh, okay. And then usually on like regular client wheels, we wouldn't be using this. This is like our tire brush, but since these are super bad, we're using this aggressive tire brush for the inner barrels. Try to get all this gunk off. A second, um, a second time, try to get more of it off. But pretty good for first time. Is that one a chemical or is that just water? This is just water to rinse it down. Hey, Tony, is that a specific kind of brush you're using right now, or? Uh, this is just like a like a usually call it lug nut brush. Um, mm -hmm. used for the front of the face of the wheels. Um, but I'm using it for the back right now to get into like the little areas that the other brush couldn't get into. Uh, what do you think is going to be the most difficult part of cleaning these wheels? I'm not too sure what these little specks are, but I'm um, trying to get rid of those. Might be a little hard. I don't know if it's tar or if, I don't know what type of thing it is. So we'll see if we can get that out. And then also um, in the front of the face, there's a, a lot of like, Mainly just the light scratches and stuff that it has and like all this tar that it has from the track. That'll probably be like the hardest thing and just trying to get them. In general, it's gonna be pretty hard to get them brand new again, like to look brand new. But we're gonna try our best right here. So the specs are coming off? Um, a little bit, well, but it. Um, I'm pretty surprised with how clean it's gotten just from the wheel cleaner. To be honest, I thought it was gonna be worse than this. Oh yeah. So I'm gonna uh, spray some iron removal on the back. Is that your 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 brand? Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so they can use anything. Like anyone can use anything. All iron removers were pretty similar. Uh -huh. But um, for today's video, we're gonna use our own. We've been using yeah. our own pretty much all the time. So um, yeah, you're just gonna spray it. And let it sit for a bit. Especially since it's not sunny or anything, I'm just gonna let it let it do its own thing and work. This stuff is pretty stinky, so you might want to wear a mask if you don't want to smell it. <laughs> and how also, long do you let gloves. that sit? Um, we're probably gonna let this sit for like five minutes, especially since we're not in the sun and stuff, and these are cool to the touch. I'm just gonna let it dwell, do its do its job, which is remove embedded contaminants on the finish. 
So Tony, what's what's the goal for uh, for today? Perfection? No, we're just gonna go for like a huge improvement. Try to get them as new as possible again, but not really perfection. They are track wheels, so they they've gotten some some abuse. So we're just gonna do our best, make them look as white as possible again, and that's about it for today. What's the weirdest thing you've ever detailed before? Um, just rims or the weirdest thing. I've been asked to like detail some trash cans. Trash I just, can? Yeah, I just didn't know how to price it and I didn't really want to do it. He wanted like the whole outside and inside done. He was really more worried about the inside because it had like a funky smell and he didn't like it. But um, I never ended up doing it just because I didn't know how to price it. And I know there's like businesses that offer that. I've seen them around. Um, but I just, I was like, I don't, I don't know, dude. Like, yeah. I don't even know how to get the proper ways to clean a trash can. I was just about to like pressure wash it, <laughs> spray yeah. some non acid wheel cleaner. Scrub it out, rinse it out, foam it, I don't know, just try to wipe it down, make it look all nice and clean, I guess. Trash but um, I don't know, I wasn't too interested. It, it seems like a good business to be in, but I don't know, it's not for me. Wait, I gotta, oh, you see how it's like all pinkish and stuff? We're yeah. just letting it sit. I'll probably spray some more and then foam it up, let it dwell. And then just kind of like, it does a little bit more work. But you can see like all that, like pinkish stuff. Yeah. That's, that's what that product is doing. So Tony, when did you start having like your own products with your logo on it and stuff? Um, I barely like released them to the public um, this year, 2022, but um, I've been having them since like, I think October or September, like September, October time. Yeah. And then I've just been only selling it to like local detailers and close friends and family members and that's about it. And then um, in January of this year, I like anyone can get it now. They just have to hit me up Instagram and if they're local, um, we could set something up. You can pick it up at the shop or based out of San Bernardino. How much do they? How much do they cost? Or um, like it for depends a... per product, um, but it starts at fifteen dollars for the sixteen ounce bottles. It ranges from like fifteen to twenty, and then for the gallons, um, it ranges. It starts at fifty and ranges all the way up to like sixty, fifty yeah. to sixty. And then we also offer the offer the ceramic coating, uh, fifty ml bottles for a hundred bucks. And we have a few other things. Um, I still kind of want to do like product pictures and stuff and set it up on our website, but uh, just I don't know, everything takes time. So we're just a little holding off on that a little bit more. We're not too, too focused on pushing it right now. Um, just kind of seeing where it goes. So Tony, what step are you in right now? So we just For finished this? rinsing it. We're rinsing this one down. Yeah. Um, we rinsed off the iron removal. And so they look a lot whiter, a lot better. Um, now we're gonna go grab our clay bar and we're gonna start playing. Um, everything front and back and after that we're gonna dry it all off panel prep it and do a light polish and then after that just do a light ceramic coating which is our spray ceramic coating uh, from Sonax that we're gonna be using for today and then that's that should be about it for these wheels yeah and how long usually does uh, like cleaning wheels like at this it depends on the size um, our goal for these are three to four hours so far, we're pretty much doing pretty good. We're good on time. Um, I usually like to take around like an hour to an hour and a half for prep on all four wheels. And then the rest of the time, we'll use it to like focus on the polishing and stuff. Try to get them looking as best as possible. So for the, for the polishing, we're not gonna focus on straw removal. We're gonna focus on getting these back to white. So it also depends on what type of wheels you're working with. Cause there's like chrome, there's these powder coated. Some of them are painted, some of them are wrapped. There's like a bunch of different finishes that these wheels have. So each wheel is like depends, but around like three to four hours for a set of wheels. So what are you gonna do right now? Uh, I'm gonna clay it. Clay? Yeah, so just spraying some clay lube. And then seeing if we can get, yeah, these are bad. It's helping a little bit, but. And the clay, what is the clay? It seals the finish or? No, it removes the uh, contamination that's embedded into the, the paint. So you see all these little black spots? You see how it's like pulling it up? Yeah. So um, that's where we're trying to get all off right now. But this, this stuff is pretty bad. So we might try some Terminator and see how that works. Mm -hmm. uh, but let's, we'll see right now. We'll keep playing it for a little bit more and then see you get these lighter ones off. You see all these um, light mm -hmm. ones right here? Let me get close up. So it's, it's able to remove those pretty easily, but the um, the other bigger ones is struggling. Like these right here, mm -hmm. 
it's they're pretty bad so it, I might be able to remove them with the clay bar but it's taking a bit long so I'm gonna try some Tarminator and see how well that's able to remove it and then go back and clay bar like the rest of it once I'm able to remove on um, the bigger trunks. So flipping it just moves the... Uh, kind of like a fresh uh, fresh um, side. Oh, okay. Can you do that every how often? Um, after a few passes after it gets all like um, caked up with the contamination. And, and fresh new size, spray it again, hit an area. So what are you doing now, Tony? Drying them or? Yeah, I'm just gonna dry them a bit to um, use a terminator on them and try to get these bigger chunks off or at least level them down a bit more to the point that the clay bar is not um, like getting stuck on them and can be able to remove them because they're too thick right now for the clay bar to be able to work properly on them. So you're using a razor now to get those? Yeah, plastic razor to shave off um, whatever this is, whatever it's hard this is. Could be tar, could be axle grease. I'm not too sure. It's working though, it's helping. So I'll use this to get the majority of it off and then, mm -hmm. and then the clay to finish it off and then polish afterwards. And it should look pretty solid. And then this plastic razor isn't too aggressive on the finish so it will leave some like light scratches but it won't um, go through the, the clear coat or paint or whatever this powder coated finishes. Got it. So it's Tarminator time, Tony? Yeah. <laughs> How many coats of that are you gonna spray on there? So, it, um, it, I don't know, it depends as many as it takes to try to get this off. I'm gonna see if it, if it actually even helps to get it off at first. Um, it should. So spray some on there, spray some on our towel, rub it on there. Well, actually, it's helping a little bit, but it's gonna take a while. These tar spots or whatever this is, is pretty on there. Might be able to get away with it using an old uh, microfiber cutting pad and mm -hmm. some compound. And we'll probably hit this edge pretty aggressive and that should take care of whatever we can't take off with the Terminator and the um, clay bar. And if it doesn't, well, then it's just gonna be on there. Yeah. But it seems to be making them less less noticeable. Just gotta work it in. So Tony, are those the black spots coming out or the nicks or whatever? For the most part, yeah, it looks a lot better, but they are taking a lot of time to come off and I'm having to put down a lot of product and pressure just to remove them. So what I'm thinking is, um, I'll do like a few more passes of this Terminator and then uh, get as much as I can off and then do the clay again. Mm -hmm. And then we'll try to do a, a microfiber um, cutting pad with compound on this top edge to get off as much of that, um, that contamination that it has or tar or whatever this stuff is. And that should be able to clear up as best as it's gonna get. Yeah. And then from there, just polish the rest of the wheel. Cause the rest of it, we basically got got um, probably like two thirds of the wheel, I say, um, to be pretty much solid. Like it's already all white. You can already see it's all smooth, um, ready to be polished. It's just this um, outer edge from the back of the barrel that's pretty messed up. So like this pad, I won't be able to use it again on like paint because it's probably gonna scratch it up. Cause it'll, if, if we were able to remove these um, tar pieces or whatever, it's probably gonna get embedded. And these are kind of just like throwaway microfiber pads. Put a little bit of 3D1 on here. Four little dots, smaller than a dime. And then pat it on the edge of the wheel. Trying to be careful with the, with the decals that are on here, the original decals, I'm not gonna try to mess them up. So the microfiber pad worked? Yeah. Made it look a lot better, for sure. 
I'm gonna go clean it out a little bit and hit it again on the other areas and then we should get to start polishing the rest of it. So Tony, what's the progress on the rims? And so for like the front, um, we just have to polish it. We've already fully prepped it. They've been clayed, iron removed. Um, now we just have to polish it. We're gonna do the faces with our three inch machine. And then in here, we're gonna have to do by hand. By hand? Yeah, by hand, get it. Um, look all these little specks out as much as possible and just like brighten it up to finish. Ooh, so are you, you're happy with the progress you're getting right now? Uh, so far, so good, yeah. These are a lot better than I expected that they're gonna turn out. So I think anyone would be happy with this type of finish. All right, so there you guys have it. That's how we clean, fully prep, and polish wheels. If you guys like this type of content, make sure to like and subscribe. And also let me know down in the comments below how you guys do this type of service. And thanks for watching again. I'll see you on the next one.